Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. I hope you're all doing very well. I'm sick and I'm still kind of recovering, as you can probably hear out of my voice. But I thought it's only appropriate to take some time and to say thank you to everyone for all the massive support that I received that brought this channel to 100,000 subscribers. And that in only a bit more than a year. To be very honest, from the beginning I thought my work would be a bit successful, but I didn't expect this much and I didn't expect to uh I didn't expect this to grow so rapidly in such a short time. It all started with a weird fat guy making videos about how Islam is bad. What changed is that I'm not fat anymore. But that's not the topic of this video. If you want to learn more about how that happened, refer to my new channel Losing Weight with Apostate Prophet. Seriously, sometimes I look at my old videos and just cringe. Look at this stupid intro. And the window behind me. And the crappy picture quality. Poor lighting. And me leaning into the camera so that everyone can see how fat and dedicated I am. Okay, I'll stop. A lot has changed in one year, and I think we made a lot of progress with hard-hitting videos. Like the truth about the Kaaba. The most watched video, which I really enjoyed making. Or who really wrote the Quran. Or the most ignorant Quran verse. Or rather offensive and humorous videos that also really question the morality of Islam and its prophet. Like the pervert prophet, which is still <laughs> one of my favorites. Or Islamic inbreeding. I still love the thumbnail. <laughs> or 43 scientific mistakes in the Quran. It was always a pleasure to make new videos and to share information and experience, knowledge and my perspective with you. And most of the time I go through the comments, especially in the first hour, and if I don't respond to each of them I usually leave a, leave a like per comment, or laugh about jokes viewers make, or make notes of things you say in order to integrate them into future videos and projects. It has also been kind of hard sometimes to do what I have been doing. I don't know, I remember a few times just sitting down and thinking, should I just stop doing this? Should I just say, okay, I have said everything, thank you all and goodbye? And do I really want to be hated by some people because, of, because I'm talking about these things? And I think about Theo van Gogh, who was killed for making a film about Islam. And about Pim Fortune, who was killed by an activist for talking about Islam and Muslims and trying to make policies. Or Salman Rushdie, who escaped from a failed assassination, whom millions of people in the world wanted dead, just because he wrote a book. Or Kurt Westergaard, the Danish cartoonist, that people burned embassies over. Or Molly Norris, a cartoonist who had to change her name and go into hiding, just because she drew a cartoon. Or the cartoonist said Charlie Hebdo. But although this whole stress and hate bothers me sometimes, I'm much more passionate about what I'm doing than I'm afraid or stressed. I want to change something in this world. I have experienced something, I have studied something and practiced it so strictly. I have become familiar with it and I see how, how, how it does its job around the world and I feel like I need to do something about this. I love the Western culture and values. I love Europe and I see how Islam is becoming more and more a problem. And I see how Muslim apologists lie about Islam and missionaries sugarcoat Islam. And people in the West believe them. And I see how the same thing is happening in India, for example. And it bothers me. You know, when I was a Muslim, I lived by many things that Islam orders people to live by. And I saw strategies that Muslim apologists and missionaries, dawah people, practice in order to protect Islam or in order to spread Islam. And in the coming weeks, I want to go into a bit of a different direction and I want to talk more about these things. I want to talk more about the political aspects of Islam in our daily lives, of Islam in our current time, and how it progresses in, in America and Europe and India and in so many other places around the world. On the other side, I made some mistakes in the past, like I misspoke and said that I was involved in a robbery sometimes in, in one of my videos, when in fact that was only a theft when I was 13 years old. Can you imagine me being in an armed robbery as a 13 year old kid? And I mentioned my past where I was part of a legal youth organization linked to an illegal communist organization in Turkey. What happened as a result is that Muslim apologists on YouTube have taken this opportunity and have taken those two things and started to attack me and my character, started to insult me and to libel me and to talk so much dirt about me. 
This is what is happening. We are harshly criticizing Islam and hitting very, very hard. And instead of going out there and debunking all those moral questions, those moral arguments that we bring, and the logical issues surrounding Islam, the mistakes in the Quran, all these things that we are doing, those people are trying to attack my character and trying to tell people what a bad person I am. I chose to ignore those people before and didn't make response videos or anything like that. I didn't want to get into a pissing contest and just uh, make it all about who can insult the other better. But in future, I want to talk more directly about Muslim apologists, about specific Muslim apologists. I want to show you what they tell you and how what they tell you is actually wrong. I should also be ready at some time for debates, but I, I don't think I'm currently ready yet to engage in live debates on stage. But if it comes up in future, I would definitely do that in an unbiased environment where my opponent uh, knows the etiquette of a debate. And a debate doesn't look like what Mohammed Hijab did with David Wood, for example. That was disgraceful. But anyway, I have so much more that I need to say. And all of this, the past year, the rise of this YouTube channel was only the beginning. 2018 was a great year. 2019 will be much greater. And I predict and believe 2020 will be amazing. So again, thank you all so much. I will be back again this week with more videos. Oh, and yeah, I promised. I would make a video on all the mistakes in the Quran. And that will be out very, very soon. It will be brutal. If you want to support me and all this work, if you want to see so many more great things happen, if you believe in this like I do, you can support me through Patreon, or you can also visit apostateprofit.com, and you can support me there through donations. The links are below in the description. I will be back. Have a great day. And stay away from Islam.